Hey friends, tonight I am hanging out at Disney Springs. I wanted to come out and show you guys one of my favorite barbecue restaurants on Disney property, The Polite Pig. Recently I ate at Regal Eagle Smokehouse at Epcot and I said that this place was a little bit better and I planned on coming out and making a video, so I felt like tonight was a great night. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is Saturday night, so Disney Springs is actually pretty crowded. But before we actually head on over for dinner, I do want to walk around, explore a little bit, and try to see if anything new is happening. Usually on the weekends, you'll find a lot more live entertainment here at the Springs. And also, kind of like little like street performers. You never know what you're going to come across, actually. Looks like we have multiple shows tonight for this band. And they're actually bringing in a big crowd. Since we're up on this side of Disney Springs, I'm gonna check to see what the wait time is to get inside the world of Disney. Sometimes they like have no wait and then obviously on the weekends, there's pretty much always gonna be a wait. <laughs> Looks like the wait to get into a world of Disney is probably just about 30 minutes. I mean, it's uh, kind of going down here. This is where they usually have it. If you do come here and they have the front doors open, that means there's no wait. So you always run in immediately. I think I actually might come back and maybe do a quick run through of the world of Disney, but after dinner because we need to work off the calories and you know, <laughs> you know. I think pretty much anywhere we go tonight, there's gonna be a long line. I'm betting there's a long line just to get into the Poi Pig as well. Another thing I might be interested in doing a little bit later is going to Amaretz and getting one of the new special cakes or desserts that they have. I know they have a Pride Month cake and they also have a Corella de Ville cake, but the thing that I'm going to be getting at Polite Pig is actually a very big meal. I feel like it's almost like a food challenge, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to have a dessert, but I can always bring it home. They do give you those fancy bags in Amaretz, so we're going to think about it. There's the Paradise Pride pastry, but they also have a Corella de Vil cake. Oh, it's gonna be a tough decision if we do come back. Now I'm gonna head on over to Blight Pig, because like I said, there's probably gonna be a long line, so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit to get inside there. And it is good barbecue. It is my personal favorite barbecue at Disney Springs. I would say that all the Fort Wilderness barbecue is like a close second, but you can't really get any of that except for at PJ's at the moment, so this is number one. And here it is, the Polite Pig, right outside the Lime Garage, and you can see there is a line going down the side of the building here. Oh boy, this might be a long wait. I'm gonna see if they actually have anything available at the bar, because the line to get in here is probably about a 30 minute wait. And they don't take reservations here, this is all quick service walk up. So if they do have something at the bar, we'll probably take that before waiting in line. Here is a look at the menu, and what I'm going for is the butcher board. I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it all. It is for two people, but I could take some home. It's $39, and you get polite pork, smoked chicken, brisket, cheddar sausage, house pickles, coleslaw, cornbread, and a choice of two of the market sides. So you basically get a variety of all the meats, and the sides are amazing here. I absolutely love the uh, Brussels sprouts, and the barbecue waffle fries. So we're gonna try to go all in on it. After waiting around for a bar seat, I come to the realize I think I'm just gonna have to get in line. The barbecue is just too good. <laughs> it is 7.01. So I'm thinking maybe 20 minutes? Hoping maybe 20 minutes. It's been about 10 minutes now, so not too bad, but I'm really hoping that we're gonna be able to eat before it actually gets dark out. I'm kind of racing the clock. I mean, I don't mind eating at night or during the dark, but I like a nice sunny day, you know? A nice sunny day at the springs. Even though it's not really sunny, it's kind of just gloomy, but I'll take gloomy. Gloomy's okay, too. We are inside now, and look at this. They're pulling out some fresh brisket. Oh boy, I hope I get that. Oh, it looks so delicious. Oh boy. And now it is officially 7.30 and we can order our food. So just about a 30 minute wait. 
It took just about 30 minutes, but now I'm at my table and they bring the food out to you and they wait on you after at this point. So you pay for everything up front. I already ordered everything. I went with what I was going with and now I just wait and uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm hungry. <laughs> I picked a table right here in front of the world of Disney so I can just watch everyone go about their day. I love people watching. People watching is my favorite thing to do, especially on the people mover. Oh boy, here it is. I don't even know where to begin. We got the sweet potato tots, which I actually subbed out the last second because I was gonna get the barbecue waffle fries, but they were calling my name. And then we got the smoked chicken, the coleslaw, the pickles, this is the pork, and they give you the option to have it either sliced or pulled. I went with sliced. I added the ribs. It was only an extra $6 to get the ribs. And then I got brisket, cornbread, coleslaw again, smoked turkey, which I subbed out for the sausage, and it was no additional charge. And then my favorite, the Brussels sprouts. There's a decently good chance that I can actually eat all this, you know? I mean, the portions look like it's a lot, but I definitely can eat the meats, I know that. But I don't know about the coleslaw and the cornbread. I'm gonna do my best. If not, like I said, you can get a box and take it home. Sweet potato tots. <laughs> Those are so amazing, and they have a little Parmesan cheese on it. Oh boy, I don't know what to start off with first. Should I do brisket, turkey, or the pork? Oh, tough decision. I think I'm gonna do the turkey. I've never had it before, I'll start with that. Oh, this turkey looks good. All right. This is going to be good. I'm glad I got this instead of the sausage. You can literally taste the smokiness on this turkey. Phenomenal. Look at it fall apart. Look at this. Oh, wow. So good. Some things I'm going to want to eat right away. Like the Brussels sprouts. I don't like these when they get cold. Right now they have like a little crispiness to them. So I'm going to eat them as I go about in between the meats you know i definitely might get the meat sweats though those are definitely though the best brussels sprouts i've ever had they are so amazing nice and crispy i think it's whiskey glaze that they have on it oh yeah look at this you can actually see the whiskey glaze right on there oh so amazing now i think i'm gonna grab myself a rib here oh boy i'm gonna see what these break apart like Oh, look at this. Oh, much too good. I'll start right here. This is the spot. Know that I waited in line 45 minutes just about all together to get this meal. And at this point, I feel like it was all worth it. Those ribs are phenomenal. So much meat, you can taste the flavor. Like it's, it's really so amazing. Whenever I do videos like this and I have multiple things to eat, I usually eat one thing and sample it on the camera for you, and then I go to the next thing. I took two or three bites of my rib salt. Just so you guys know, how that's how good they were. You know what I mean? Like, normally I would have eaten one, like, rib and then moved on to maybe the pork, but they were that good, I ate a little bit more. But now, I gotta get to the pork. Right here is that pork, and just take a look at that. Look at that crust on the outside. Oh, I'm loving everything about this meal. Seriously, like I said, 45 minutes, well worth the wait. <laughs> so let's recap. We already had the ribs, the turkey, the pork, the Brussels sprouts, the tots. Next, I think we have to go with the smoked chicken. The only reason I'm not jiving into the brisket is because I think that's going to be the one. That's going to be the one right there. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, it looks so amazing. I don't even know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go with a drumstick here. There we go. Alright. We're diving right in here. Look at that dry rub on there. So amazing. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get another bite of this too. I have to. It is time. It is brisket time. Oh, I'm so excited. I remember this being my favorite the last time I ate here. So I was like, well, if I remembered it being so good, it's probably gonna be so good again. Oh, look at that.
crispy rubbed brisket. That is just so phenomenal. Oh, the best thing here, I think. Now it's open season. I tried everything and I can just start eating whatever I want. Oh, the cornbread though, I have to show you guys first. And I always want to show in like a little close. So we'll like bada bing, grab it like that. And very good. I'm starting to feel it, but I got a little bit more to go. I feel happy to leave here without having to take a box home. I think I can do it. <laughs> A little bit of chicken, a little bit of ribs, a little bit of brisket left, the tots, the Brussels sprouts. I'm not a big fan of coleslaw, so we don't have to worry about that. But I think I can finish this. I am pretty sure I am throwing in the towel. I am so full. Like, I'm like, holy moly. Like, sitting back right now, I'm like, that was a butcher board I just ate. <laughs> Nothing but bones, some Brussels sprouts, and just a couple taters there. I feel like I could pack them in, but... I'm not gonna push it. All the meat's done. The cornbread is a little spicy. It is jalapeno cornbread, so if you get it, be prepared. One of the best meals I've ever had. I am so full. I mean, I love barbecue though, so like it's easy for me to say it's one of the best meals I've ever had because I like barbecue, but people that don't like barbecue probably wouldn't say that. And if you know of any other places that actually have good barbecue in Orlando or just not even Disney World itself, let me know in the comments because I'd love to check them out. But that right there, oh, that did it. That hit the ticket. And of course, some street performers, like I said. I really love that. I felt like I was walking around the Magic Kingdom at Disney Springs though. They sound amazing. I love the violin. Like she was like on point. We're gonna just keep walking around the springs a little bit. I really don't think I can get any dessert, so I don't even want to look at the cakes. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't even want to tempt myself. But I might want to do a little shopping. So we'll go back and we'll check on the world of Disney. I'm just looking at these lights in the trees, though. Aren't they so pretty? I like it. I honestly think it got busier since when we were up here earlier. It is jam packed here. Look at this. Holy moly, it's a busy night at the Springs, I say. Hey. How are ya? Oh, oh. I think I'm gonna hop in the basin and wash my hands. See if they got any fancy soaps. I love washing my hands at the basin. My hands always feel so much cleaner afterwards. Like, it's amazing. And it actually smells so amazing. I think I might actually get a bath bomb. They have relaxation ones. A marine fresh florals and jasmine and musk and then they have dreams clean cool rain with white florals sounds very interesting but i do need to wash my hands that was the main reason for coming in here so we're gonna wash our hands first we'll grab a popsicle stick grab ourselves some soap of the soap i like this orange one there we go and now we gotta wash our hands in the faucet Oh, my hands smell so amazing now. Best soaps ever. <laughs> oh, wow. I asked how long the wait time would be now, and they said it might be up to an hour. Holy moly. We should have gotten line when we did. Oh, well. I think we can go somewhere else. It's going to be hard for me to remember what it's like when we no longer need to actually wait to go inside stores again like when everything goes back to normal and you don't need reservations and it's gonna be strange like right now uh within this past month uh we finally can walk around disney springs without a face mask but can you imagine what was it like before when everybody just had free roam to world of disney was it super busy in there because it's super busy now I think I'm gonna head into Uniqlo and see if they added anything to their Disney collection that I haven't seen yet. I love the clothes that they have in here. Some of it's absolutely amazing. They're really actually nice. Mickey Mouse photo days. I like this shirt too. 
and it's super cheap, $19 for these. Look at Mickey right there taking photos. What's this on top of the world? Oh, wow. What's the back like? That is so awesome. These Like A Dream shirts are also really awesome too. I just like the overall design of them. And the shirts themselves are really sturdy. I actually got some Jurassic World t-shirts from here not too long ago. And I like to wear those whenever I go to Universal. So it's nice to see some things. I'm not going to buy anything today. Nothing really caught my eye like that much. But I always like to take a peek see in here. And since we couldn't get in the world of Disney, why not? I just thought of something I need to do tonight. I felt bad because I ate all my food at the Polite Pig. I don't have anything to give Gracie, so I know where I can get Gracie a little snack to bring home, and I think she's gonna like it a lot. And maybe I can get myself a little snack too, but for much later, much later. <laughs> Right here at Sprinkles, there's a little bit of a line to go in, but it's okay because they have a cupcake ATM, and as long as it's got the doggy cupcake on it, then we should be in business here. Our bakers are loading cupcakes in the cupcake ATM now. Oh, 30 minutes we have to wait. Well, the cupcake ATM is loading and it says 30 minutes, so might as well just hop in line at that point. Look at this place, isn't it so bright? They have so many amazing cupcakes. Red velvet, salty caramel, strawberry, chocolate marshmallow, lemon blueberry, sprinkle, and then they have a couple like limited edition ones like pineapple upside down cake, a s'mores cupcake, a peach pie. So I'm not too sure what I'm gonna get because I got a lot of offerings. There we go. I've got three cupcakes for Gracie and then two cupcakes for me. This is gonna be good. I'm gonna take them home and I'm gonna feed her and I'm gonna show you guys because I'm sure she's gonna love it. Cupcakes have been obtained. So now I'm gonna head home and uh, I'm gonna give Gracie her cupcake and I'll probably show you mine, but that will be a little bit later. Anywho's, I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Polite Pig was absolutely amazing. I just had a great time hanging out at Disney Springs. It's seriously such a fun atmosphere, especially on the weekends, like I said, with all the cool entertainment. You've seen the violin players and then the band. It's just really cool, but it can get a little busy. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Is it true? Do doggies love cupcakes too? Do they? You want this? You want this? Huh? Can you smell it? Good girl. Sit. Good girl. One cupcake coming up for you. Look at this. It's so adorable. It's got a little dog bone on it. What are you smelling the wrappers? Sit down. You want it? Here you go. Sit. Sit. Good girl. There you go. <laughs> what are you taking it to? Yes, you like it? I think she likes it. <laughs>